Our generous viewers have raised the $235,000 to support NBC4's Emergency COVID-19 Response Fund, which is helping struggling families all throughout Southern California. NBC4's Ted Chen is in Wilmington, where the Boys and Girls Club is trying to make sure families are fed and that children have a safe place to play. Um. And then you just created the C chord. It's very different now at the Boys and Girls Club here in Wilmington. For music, art, and other activities, the kids are spread out. And in the gym, there's a socially distant game of human monopoly instead of basketball. Still, if you ask 11 year old Audrina Garcia, it's better than being stuck at home. It was hard because it's like we didn't really have much to do. Audrina showed us her own backpack and supplies she doesn't have to share with other kids. It's one more part of the new reality. The Boys and Girls Club of LA Harbor not just keeping children busy, but also feeding them and their families. Thousands of meals daily, and now a new weekend food distribution program. Every day we get more people saying, can we be part of your weekend wellness program? And they, so need, they need food. They need food. From the start of the pandemic, NBC4 teamed up with Ralph's and Food for Less to create the Emergency COVID-19 Response Fund to help nonprofit organizations like the Boys and Girls Club. Our viewers donated some $235,000 to help feed those in need and so kids like Audrina have a safe place to go. I like get to hang out with different kids and then I don't, I'm not as much as on my like phone or like my electronic that much. The club is beefing up its Wi-Fi for online learning when school starts, but it can only safely hold 100 kids, less than half pre-pandemic. As the word gets out after the school year opens and we're open and the schools aren't, there'll be a lot more people wanting to come. And a lot of kids to play what literally may be the only game in town. In Wilmington, Ted Chen, NBC4 News.